you know? It's a really dark and depressing scene when you actually look at it. I mean, you have this town, these houses, and then you see these waves all crashing in over these buildings, just getting ready to just destroy everything. This is what Maligula did. And it affected so many people, especially Ford, who we can barely see up there. <laughs> Raz, I'm trying to do my intro here and I'm trying to be super serious. Can you stop? Thank you. <laughs> don't, 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 don't smirk like that. I saw that. I saw that for a brief moment, my dude. He's smirking. Hey everybody, this is the Gaming Dragon and welcome back to Psychonauts 2. Last time, we finished up some, some of the remaining collectibles around, um... Lucy, around here. Is that really you? Oh, hello. Ford, it's me, Raz. Are you really the same person I used to know? Ford, I just saw you. Remember the bacon? I can't even recognize the person you become. I feel a bad storm gathering. Drawn close. Very close. Uh, hey guys, that's a little bit too close, okay? <laughs> uh, last time we finished up with our last remaining collectible, collectathon, collecting, uh, around, uh, the mother lobe, around, um, the quarry, and also around, um, uh, the questionable area. That's it. We also went into Ford's mind and got electrocuted. Uh, <laughs> we also went into Ford's mind and discovered some more dark secrets about the past of the Psychonauts. And we're about to finish up the last and final piece of this mind and see where we get taken now. That was close. Wait a minute. You're not Lucy. It is such a relief to hear you say that. You're something from deep inside her. Something dangerous we accidentally unlocked. <sighs> the last piece of Ford's mind. What secrets do you hold? Hey, you lousy little mite, how'd you get in here? Don't push me. I'll goggle a whole bottle of hydrocide if I need to. <laughs> Lucretia went to Grulovia. She went back to protect her family, to help her country. Oh, but it changed her. War changes everybody. Inside all of us, we all have dark roots. Well, sometimes we need that darkness to survive. Careful. Sometimes it's hard to get it back in the bottle. All the pieces brought back together. Rasputin. Agent Crawler, how do you feel? I've done a terrible thing. And so have you. But we just wanted to undo what Maligula did to you. Maligula didn't do this to me. That's the first thing I've learned in here. The rest, you're gonna have to see for yourself. Ford, what is it? See for yourself. The graveyard beckons us. Come over here. And you'll see this little tombstone with our little memory vault buddy. Y'all want to remember this 
for when you come back to this place later. No, not squeakers. see this oh no I don't think you'll want to see this at all don't bury me This place is so cool. Fair warning to you right now. You can accidentally jump off this and miss what's behind these doors. Don't be stupid. Don't do that. Make sure you go through the doors because there's figments back here and there's also something even more important. Story. Hey Ford, what's the deal with the Deep Six treatment? I did what I had to do. I loved her after all. Wait. What? Someday when you fall in love, you'll understand. You gotta love the little ghost friend here. He kinda cute. Ford, what's going on here? What did you want me to see? I couldn't let her go free. She was a danger to the world. Even though it was the world that made her dangerous. Lucretia? Where is she? Safe. She's safe. Well, she was. And we all were. Huh. <laughs> Not anymore. Whatever I'm supposed to know, just spit it out. I had to hide her from the world because they'd never forgive her. And I had to hide her from me because I'd never forget her. Where? Where did you hide her? She's with family. this purse tag. You just have to wait for the shark to come back around and time bubble it. Purse tag. 
You cannot get the tag off that shark unless you time bubble it. Time to go down to the deepest depths. Maligula. No, 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 not again! Ah! Who's that? Are that your grandparents, Laszlo and Morona? They drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster, remember? What? No! Grandpa Laszlo died there, but Grandma made it out and came to live with my father. No, Raz, she didn't. Ford, I just saw her today. No, you didn't. <laughs> Rasputin. After the fight with Lucy. With Maligula? She was defeated, but alive. I snuck her away from the others and brought her back to the gulch. That's it! I think I've collected every figment in this mine. I put her in the astrolathe, one of Otto's inventions, created to make permanent alterations to the psyche. And I used it to isolate and neutralize the part of her psyche that was... A murderer? Problematic. And I had my Lucy back. I think I hear something. <sighs> but I knew the world would never forgive her. So I had to hide her somewhere safe. Where, Ford? Oh, no. I hid her among her family, Rasputin. Among your family. No, no, no! I projected memories and feelings on your father so he would accept her. Maligula? Yes. As your grandmother. No! <laughs> Let me go! Listen, Raz. I know you're mad. My great aunt killed my grandma. And so you made us babysit her for 20 years? Now look it, you spring this news on your family now, their memories will unravel and there's no telling how they'll react. So? They might try to kill her. If Lucretia is attacked, if she feels the need to defend herself, that dark spirit could reawaken inside her. Maligula really could rise again. You're right to be mad, Rasputin. I was young. I made a terrible mistake. But we need to deal with that after we get control of this incredibly dangerous situation. She's not there. Probably wandered off into the woods again. She keeps doing that. I know where she's going. The Psychonaut started out here, in the heart of the forgetful forest. There's a compound deep in these woods, protected from intrusion by psychic devices, traps, and illusions. I think Lucy's trying to get in, trying to go home. Remember, mad later, mission first. Now stick close. I'll show you how to get through.
Agent Kruller? I hope I didn't lose him in the woods. Wow. It's really all still here. The Green Needle Gulch. So much history here. I mean, this is where you assembled the team that would become the Psychonauts. This is where you first discovered Cytanium. Where Otto made his first psychoactive devices. Where Cassiopeia wrote her books. Where Helmet Fulbear workshopped his psychodicy. Where Bob Zanotto and Compton Bull pioneered communication with plants and animals. And where... where... I mean... This is where it all began. No, Raz. This is where it all ended. Welcome to the Green Needle Gulch. This story goes hard. <laughs> Oh, the things we learn. Oh, Raz, you poor sweet baby boy. Alright, that just... Okay, I thought I could take this way to get down there. I mean, once again, I had to be quiet for that, that whole segment, just strictly, just strictly because this story, like, it, it it's crazy, man. It's really crazy. Okay, Raz, that was, that was a little unnecessary. Come on. Come on. Man. Oh boy. Oh, there's another card over there. I'm gonna grab- oh, there are two cards over here. I almost passed those both up. I guess I'm gonna have a little time to talk more about this. It's just- it's- oh my god, please don't die. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> uh, like, are you kidding me? I'm bad. So, like, you've got to view this from Raz's perspective. Like, you find out that you that your entire family has been living a lie their whole life. Your whole life. Everyone's whole life. You've been living with a person that you thought was your grandmother, and she's not. Like, that's got to be crazy. Yona? What are you doing here? Do you know where you are? What can you tell me about this place? I... Oh, I think... I think I used to keep the cinnamon over there. Oh, we don't have much time. Her old memories are coming back. What's going to happen? Listen, Raz. This compound... We got into some pretty far out stuff here. I've read about- The kind of stuff they don't write about in true psychic tales, okay? We all pushed each other to go farther, to broaden our consciousness, to open every closed door in our minds. It made us defenseless, psychically. But we were in a safe place here. We had each other. Then her homeland was attacked. She insisted on helping. I begged her not to go in that condition, it's so vulnerable. Ah, war brought something out in her that should have been locked away. Maligula. After the deluge, I brought her back here and closed those doors again with Maligula on the other side. How? With the astrolathe. A powerful tool we developed to make alterations to our psyches. That doesn't sound safe. Ah, you wouldn't understand. It was an age of exploration. But you're right. 
We were messing with powers we didn't understand, and now I have to clean up this mess. But I'm not the psychonaut I used to be, Rasputin. I need your help. What do you need me to do? First, I need you to go to the Heptodome and prepare the astrolathe. Well, I stay here and keep a close watch on her. Be right back, Nona. Away from the river, booty! Aha! I knew I had some chewing tobacco hidden in here! <laughs> the bottle just fall down. Falled? Yeah, it fall it falled down. Straight. Big thoughts I'm picking. People might think this thought tuna looks dorky, but I think it's cool. Found some thoughts. Thanks, thought tuna. So we got some stray thoughts floating around that we can go ahead and connect to and get ourselves a Psy Challenge Mucker. Okay. Okay, game. Sure. Fine. Go ahead. Do that. You can you, you do that. You do that game. Okay, so before we head out to the astrolabe, we want to climb up here because... Uh, okay, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pyro, burn. Burn, baby, burn. Burn. I'm gonna come over here. Yep, and we can find ourselves. Looks harmless to me, but that's probably how it gets you. <laughs> I want to see if I can get my butt back up here. I've been up here before. But it's not easy. I don't remember how I've been able to get up there before in the past. I'll have to try to see if I can remember. You can get on top of that. There's nothing up there for you, but you can get on top of it. Are you kidding me? Go back, Raz. Yep. I'll take that card. There we go. Head over to the Heptodome. Phew. Miss the jump entirely, but still make it. Incredible. This is where the first Psychonauts met. And this must be the Astral Lane. Well, I'll just turn this thing on then. Well, those are thick and thorny. Yikes! Okay, I'm gonna need a little help here. All right, we have a problem. Can't leave this card lying around. Side card. This is where they plan their voyages across the astral plane. This is where they sat. <laughs> Raz is a little too excited. So we have all of our comforts of home here in the Heptodome. We have ourselves a brain tumbler that we can use if we so desire. And we have and ourselves mental connection pins available. A store that we can use. Uh, actually, I should buy. I think I can combine, Let's combine that two cycles. So you can rank up. I might be able to do three. We'll see. Ah, uh, just barely not three. Uh, also, let me see if I can purchase any upgrades. Good selection. Good thing you bought that now. I was just about to raise the price. Perfect. Come back, and then we have this. Oh, I can get that too. Might as well. Excellent choice. Smart. Keep one of those in your pocket. Ooh, I should get some of those too. My mental energy has been lagging a little. Stock up. I probably Please won't need any of it. Responsibly. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Alright, so with that. We should head back to Ford and see what he has to say about the situation. Yeah. 
Ford, we have a problem. I hate to interrupt, but... Is the astrolathe ready, Rasputin? It's covered in bees. Isn't Cassia Compton around here somewhere? Uh, they were always good with that sort of thing. Toto bug nerds. <laughs> oh, I like that. Toto bug nerds. Uh, that chair is actually in the way. It's like... I'd better get that astrolathe working. That's my boy. That's my boy. Is probably it's messing things up a little. Uh Can I talk to you guys from a different I angle? Up, but... Is the astrolathe ready, Rasputin? Why is that chair just get in the way? Working. Careful. No, you be careful. That's just going to bug me. Cease. And assist. Cease and assist. Oh, yes. Oh, my back really needed that. It's you know I can't. Uh, the chair is an immovable prop. It's just gonna have to look weird. I hate to interrupt, but it's the astrolabe. <laughs> it just looks so wrong. I'm sorry, Ford. You you got done dirty. It's strangled by thorny vines. Hmm. Bob Zanotto was our vegetation expert. He liked plants more than people. Why didn't you just turn Lucretia in to the authorities? I knew that the real Lucretia was a good person, and would be fine if we could control the Maligula complex inside her, but I knew no one would ever believe that. They'd lock her up, which would just make Maligula more angry, and more dangerous. So this water curse on my family. The more Lucy comes in contact with water, the more likely she is to remember bad things. So I use the astrolathe to give her an unnatural fear of water. She passed it on to your father, and he passed it on to you. So there is no curse? Rasputin, there's no such thing as magical curses. Please, this is science. Does my dad know? Your dad thinks this is his mother. He has no idea. It's his aunt. No idea that his mother has been dead for 20 years. But he might remember the truth while we are performing the procedure, as Lucy remembers who she is. How are you going to use the astrolathe? Years ago, I used it to seal the spirit of Maligula away. But she is still in there. With your help, I'm hoping we can bring it out and destroy it forever. What you did to my family was wrong, Ford. You're right, Rasputin. I was young, and I panicked. But that's no excuse. I just hope we can use the astrolathe to set things right for you and your family. I'd better get that astrolathe working. That's my boy. That's my boy. Chair, you're the worst. But regardless, it's uh, a lot more information to unpack than we would have ever have expected to get in, in, in this sequel to this game. But uh, with all that aside, we've now got an interesting choice to make: to the left or to the right. And I say left. Oh, sweet sticky babies, look at. That. Sweet Is that honey? How big are the bees around here? Sweet sticky babies? Yep. Raz, what kind of sayings did you grow up around? <laughs> uh Oh great. Bees love me. Is that the real fieldmobile? Wow! This must be Helmet's Theater! The Fieldmobile needs a tune-up, and a car wash. And actually, it smells like there's a skunk family living in there, so never mind. <laughs> uh, and there's... There it is. Feast for the senses. Or at least what it was originally. 
helmet's head must be cold. Um, actually, with that, I think this is where we're gonna end it off here. So, next time on Psychonauts 2, we are going to continue up through these sticky, sticky, sticky bees. And, uh, see if we can- what we can find up in this, uh, this building up at the top there. Maybe we'll find somebody to deal with our little bee problem, methinks? We shall see. I'll see you guys then.